got a 20 in your wallet. Uh, see me, I'm stacking money. Hey, Matter of hey, fact, hey, I hey, let you hey, watch hey, it. Get, hey, big, hey, get, big, hey, get, hey, big, hey, get, big, hey, get, hey, big, hey, big, hey, big. Hey, you ain't got enough hey, money. You ain't got enough money. Get, big, get, big, get, big, hey, get, big. Let's go first two dollars. Get big. What? You are listening to the Reverend and High Priestess, Tama Aziz Sewa. I love you. I know you've been through a lot. I know that maybe the past six to 12 months of your life has felt like hell and high water, but I'm coming to tell you that you can still have what you envision for yourself. Get big, whatever it is that you need. For me right now, I am calling in massive amounts of money because I have created massive amounts of debt. Well-intentioned, but did not know I was creating it when I created it. I've already gone through my process of self-judgment and shame. I've already came out of the illusion that by having the experience I'm having with my money that does not in any way, shape or form negate my power or my influence. That I have always been who I am regardless of my net worth. And that the parts of me that are valuable in the world cannot be defined by a dollar amount. That's what I'm getting big around right now but what is it for you is it the matters of your heart is it the fact that you have been calling forward your divine lover your soulmate the one who is it all for you as you are it all for yourself and you can't figure out why they ain't here yet or you thought they were here just to discover they were not being authentic with you and it made you feel small, but I'm telling you to get big. I'm telling you to find just enough faith within you to let you know that you are magnificent. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are important. If you can find just enough positive, perspective about yourself and what you're going through in your life right now before you blink you will find yourself in the greater that has been coming to change everything in your life i can't wait to see this in demonstration i invite you to be with us at elevation weekend go to myelevationweekend.com you need to know where the vortexes are. You need to know where in the earth things get stirred up in a way that changes your life. When God gave me the vision about Elevation Weekend, I didn't know um, that it would be important to me because it didn't come directly to me first. It came through other women. I'm supposed to collaborate. I went through two failed collaborations before I birthed it. And once I saw what it is, I have been nurturing and growing it ever since. It It's indescribable on some level how easily the elevation occurs not even on site, but from the moment you decide to say yes and be present to it, things begin to move in your life. Well, that's intentional. That's part of the experience that we call you higher by inviting you. And when you come into agreement with the vision of what we've invited you into, your life immediately begins to expand and change. If you're listening to this, I want you to think about what parts of your life you're feeling stagnant and you're feeling stuck, you're feeling defeated. I have deep 
compassion for you. I want you to listen intensely as I speak the truth into your mind, your body, and your spirit. I do not care what it looks like. This is a fixed fight. You win. You win. I know you've taken some blows. I know you've had some disappointments. I know you've been ritualing and praying and calling for things. And it seems like it's dragging. I know that this has taken a toll on your self-esteem. I know that it's making you question if what you thought you heard God tell you to do was accurate. I know that you're feeling it in your body and that you've lost some sleep and it's impacted your self-care. I know the sacrifices that you've had to make that have taken blows to your ego and your perception of yourself. I know that there are times you feel lonely because as soon as you made the decision to go up and get big, your entire circle changed. And although intellectually you knew that the shift was coming, emotionally, your heart is aching. But I am offering you this, no matter what you've been through, know this, know this, every single bit of it will serve you well. Don't abandon the correct perspective of who you are. You are getting big, my love. You are expanding. You are going to an entirely different level. Greater is coming. It will manifest. It will manifest for you. The things that you're yearning for, the things that you need. Some of you have had the basics of your life shaken. Some of you are in positions where you don't know how you're going to eat. You don't know how you're going to keep a roof over your head. You don't know what's getting ready to happen with your entire way of life. But I promise you this. Don't let this moment define your destiny. It is just a moment. Moments do change. There is something on the other side of this. We live in a world of polarity. So the pendulum will always swing to the other direction. On the other side of this is wisdom. On the other side of this is clarity and closure. On the other side of this is an experience where I got this lesson. I don't have to go through that again. On the other side of this is wholeness and healing. I like to offer you to plant your feet on the ground if you can. Take your right hand, start tapping the top of your head. Say, I know who I am. I know who I am. Then go right in between your eyebrows, tap there. Say, I see the truth of what I'm going through. I will and I can make it. Then take your right hand and just rub over your heart. And say, Divine, Divine Mother, Divine Father, to my angels, to my ancestors, to all who keep watch over me from the ethers, I summon you to help me heal my heart. I summon you to help me open my heart. What is trying to shut down and close inside of me, I invite you to come in and interrupt the psychological sabotages that I set up for myself 
because somewhere in my consciousness, I began to believe that I don't deserve and I'm not worthy of unspeakable joy, ridiculous fulfillment and happiness. Break that chain around my heart. I give my heart to you. Heal it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Take your hands, rub them together as if you're generating peace. Rub them together, rub them together. My prayer for you listening to this is that it gave you a moment to realign with the truth that'll take you up. You don't have to sit down and die. You don't have to sit in your depression. You don't have to sit in your unfulfillment. You don't have to sit in your disappointments. You don't have to pretend either that you're okay when you really are feeling these varieties of emotions. You're supposed to have a variety of emotions. You're human. The advantage that you have as an awakened one who knows that you are spirit having a human experience is that at any given moment, you can activate the power of your truth. May your truth be that you are okay. And that just because you're having an experience, that does not mean that that experience defines you and that you are any less loved by God. You are deeply, affectionately loved by the divine. Every morning that you wake up and breathe the essence of God that we call breath is evidence of how important you are to this mysterious world full of so many layers of events and experiences. But you matter. And in case you forgot because life was giving you a tough time, I wanted to hop on here and remind you that you matter. I hope I get to wrap my arms around you. There are several things that I do in person. Um, we have our womb meditation classes that occur once a month. You can look that up. Our first one for this year is about cultivating authentic sisterhood. It's near and dear to my heart. And is one of the tools that I am using to clear out the residue of inauthentic experiences with women in my life. Next month, we'll be talking about the struggle of paradigm and how it has been dismantled and how that shows up in your life. And, and just check out our schedule. We have a lot of classes coming up for uh, those of you who can find your way to the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. I can wrap my arms around you there. And then again, go to myelevationweekend.com, myelevationweekend.com, my elevation weekend. It's about you. It's not about our itinerary. It's not about the keynote speakers that we're going to bring in. It's not about any of that. It's really, truly myelevationweekend.com. Send your signals to the universe that you're ready for the greater because it's coming. And your capacity must change to be able to be a good, clean container for the blessings at the next level that you cannot even dream up yet that are already en route to your life. Be in that room. Be a part of that weekend. It is going to change your life. Can I say that enough? It's changed mine. I love y'all. I'm so glad I got an opportunity to connect with you. Um, and for those of you who have not experienced the power of the womb sauna's expression of vaginal steaming 
and got on my pots and popped a squat, you can do so at the wombsana.com. Our headquarters is in Maryland and our company is in nine different countries. If you're passionate about holding sacred space for women, then you absolutely should be a part of the womb sauna practitioner family and join us in our movement to teach women worldwide how to heal everything. Get big, sisters. Get big, my brothers who tune in and listen to my videos as well. Get big whatever it is that's been making you feel small whatever it is it's been making you feel like you're not enough it's a lie you don't have to believe it the truth is you already are exactly who you need to be you were born ready peace